When I think of the term portraiture, I, I think of a very broad interpretation. It doesn't have to be head and shoulders. I think a portrait can be almost anything that conveys something about the personality or this human being, this person, and how they live their life. When I'm walking on the street, there's certain people I see that seem to have an interesting story written on their face. There's something about the way they look that I find profound and full of meaning. It's these people that I want to stop and talk to and try and convince them to let me take their portrait. There's certain parts of the world that I've gravitated to over the years. I, I've spent a lot of time in Asia, South Asia, Southeast Asia. This part of the world really speaks to me for some reason. I don't know if it's the geography or the culture. I, I've been very attracted to Buddhism and Hinduism, and these parts of the world are full of that. So I think that Asia has such an ancient culture and the extremes between rich and poor, the, the disparity between different classes make it a very kind of rich environment to work in. I can't emphasize enough how important light and the quality of light is to photography and to portraiture. For me, I've always been drawn to more subdued, low contrast, uh, the time of day when uh, the light is soft, perhaps a cloudy day, a rainy day, uh, when it's muted and the light is more subtle and not so hard, not so direct, uh, not so bright. That's where I tend to gravitate towards. And I think if you photograph in these kind of low light situations, you'll find there's great mood and great atmosphere in these kind of situations. I think a lot can be learned from the old masters, the painters, the great ones like Vermeer, Rembrandt, Degas. One of my favorite paintings is The Girl with the Pearl Earring by Vermeer. It has this wonderful balance and this wonderful harmony. The color, the wonderful light coming through the window, the way her head is positioned, and of course the pearl, which is in the most strategic place. I think the most interesting person I've ever photographed was Aung San Suu Kyi in Burma. When I photographed her, she had been under house arrest for 18 years. She was very petite, very feminine. She wore flowers in her hair, very pretty, but extremely intelligent, tough as nails, had this iron will that the government would not break her determination to free her people and to bring democracy to Burma. My advice to young photographers is to photograph exactly what you want to photograph. You know, life is too short to please other people. You should follow your heart, follow your instincts, and photograph things that give you pleasure, that give you meaning, that give you joy. You can achieve all sorts of wonderful things if you have the right attitude and if your heart is in the right place. It's really an individual choice, and in the end, you really need to be finding your own path and discover the world on your own terms.